joints or articular system the definition of the joint the joint is meeting between two or more bones types of the joints are classified into three types according to tissue that lie between the bones number one fibrous joints in which the bones of the joint are held together by fibrous tissue number two cartilaginous joints in which the bones of the joints are held together by cartilage it is subdivided into primary and secondary cartilaginous joints number three and the most important one is synovial joints in which the bones are separated by joint cavity lined by synovial membrane and containing synovial fluid the bones are bound together by fibrous tissue and these type of the joints are almost immobile examples sutures of the skull and the inferior tibiofibular joints from the fiber joints who have many types number one suture type as in the skull where the adjacent bones are linked together by a thin layer of connective tissue termed sutural ligaments number two syndesmosis or joints in which the adjacent bones are linked by interosseous membrane number three gomphosis this type is found between the root of the tooth and the sockets in the mandible or maxilla of the skull this is different types of fibrous and cartilaginous joints this type sutures of the skull this is the sutural type and this is gomphosis between root of the tooth and the sockets in the mandible and this is syndesmosis in which a fibrous tissue between two bones as radius and the ulna the second type is cartilaginous joints this is a cartilage between epiphysis and the metaphysis of the long bones and this is disappear after a certain age this is primary cartilaginous joints and this is the secondary cartilaginous as bodies of the vertebrae and intervertebral discs and cartilaginous joints in which the bones are connected together by cartilage it has a very limited degree of mobility there are two varieties of cartilaginous joints primary cartilaginous there is hyaline cartilage with later ossified as epiphyseal cartilage examples epiphyseal cartilage between epiphysis and diaphysis of the long bones and this type of the joints will disappear in certain age the second type or secondary cartilaginous joints the bones are connected by fibrocartilaginous disc and this type of the joint is permanent examples intervertebral discs and the bodies of the vertebrae this is the bodies of the vertebrae and this is the intervertebral discs which forming secondary cartilaginous joints then the third type of the joints which synovial joints and this type of the joints the bones are covered by hyaline cartilage and the bones are separated from each other by synovial space the joint is surrounded by fibrous capsule and synovial membrane lines the fibrous capsule from inside and all intracapsular structures except the articular surfaces the synovial membrane secretes synovial fluid which fill the joint cavity and has important lubricant nutritive and protective functions this type of the joints are freely mobile and synovial joints are divided according to articular surfaces and degree of mobility into seven types this is different types of synovial joints this is ellipsoid joint in the rest and this is ball and socket joints this is hinge joints the types of the novel joints number one plane joints in which the two articular surface of the bones moves against each other the second type is hinge joints moving around the transverse axis allowing flexion and extension only examples as elbow joint number three pivot joints in which one bone moves around the vertical axis and allow rotatory movements examples superior and inferior radioulnar joints number four ellipsoid joints when the shape of the articular surface is elliptical shape 
as in wrist joints. Number five, condyloid. Examples, metacarbophalangeal joints of the fingers. Number six, saddle-shaped joints. Example, carbometacarbal joints of the thumb. Number seven, and the most important type is ball and socket joints. Examples in shoulder and the hip joints. This is different types of synovial joints. This is hinge type, elbow joints. This is pivot joints bet as between radius and the ulna. This is ball and socket as shoulder and the hip joints. Factors maintain the stability of the joints. Number one, skeletal elements. Shape of the bone, which forming is a joint. Uh, in case of the bone, when bones are fitted together, this maintains the stability. Number two, ligamentous elements, as ligaments surrounding the joints. This is different ligaments surrounding the knee joint. It has a great role in the stability of the joint. Number three, muscular element, as surrounding muscles are the most important factor. Number four, intraarticular pressure, as atmospheric pressure is positive and intraarticular pressure is negative. The difference between positive pressure outside and negative pressure inside the joints will maintain the bones in contact with each other.